Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel of messages reading from your person for all of my Leos who are watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Leo, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love when it comes to your person. So your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart, Leo, is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, Leo, please don't take it personally. Also, Leo, if this reading does resonate or if you are interested, I will have your extended reading linked in the comments and in the description, so that will be available as well. Let's go ahead and officially begin. As you can see, we have three different piles of messages. What we'll do is pull three random messages from each stack and go from there, Leo. These piles are already pre-shuffled, but for each deck, we'll do another shuffle. So let's, let's see what messages we do have to begin with. So as mentioned, let's pull three random messages. We'll do this green one. Let's do another green one. And let's do this pink one right here. So that's it for pile number one. Let's get into this pile. Once again, one more shuffle. All right, so let's, let's take this one right here. We'll do this one and one more. Let's do this yellow one. All right, Leo, so we'll get into this next pile moving forward. Let's see what we have so far. We can plan on it. We can plan on it. Next is, once I like you, I'm obsessed. I've learned my lesson. We also have no distance will ruin this. You've made me the happiest I've been in a while. And you've got me messed up. You've got me messed up. Okay, Leo. So I feel like this person, this is someone you already know here, Leo. And I feel like whenever something crossed you or when this person crossed your boundary, Leo, that's when you set the record straight. I'm not this type of person. I won't accept this for myself. And I don't need that energy in my life. So whether it was some distance, Leo, or just you saying that and then this person getting it together, I feel like they learned their lesson in that way. This connection might be a huge change for them, Leo, where it's like they're going to have to take themselves seriously and they'll have to take you seriously. But that I'm not saying that in a sense where it's a chore. They want to, Leo. But perhaps there's learned behaviors or bad habits that they thought they were going to transfer into this connection. But I feel like you, you cleared them on that, Leo. You've got me messed up, your energy. So you're not about to let something slide when it hurts your feelings or even when it comes to communication. I didn't understand you the first time or... I won't respond to those one-worded messages. Communicate with me as a mature adult and individual. So it's like you're going to have to learn for yourself. And it's also that natural instinct. If you want to, there's a will, there's a way. And we all have love within. And I feel like you unintentionally pulled this love out of this person. They already had it, Leo, but you're setting the tone for 
how they need to love you here. So you've got me messed up. I feel like this was your energy or is your energy. We also have, I've learned my lesson, this person's energy, Leo. And I'm going to combine that with no distance will ruin this. I feel like you stated, not like word for word, but if you want it, then you're going to make it happen for, for us. I'm going to do my part, but you're going to do your part. We're going to do our parts for ourselves, and then we'll learn to integrate that into this connection. So whether it was the distance, the silence, the tension, I feel like this person broke through it, and they made these changes here because they didn't, they didn't like how it was feeling the first time, or they didn't like how it felt the first time. I've learned my lesson. I feel like they want to keep things straight and narrow with you, but from their actions or their take moving forward. It's, I'm not playing around. I'm not wasting time. I'm taking this seriously because I want to. You've made me the happiest I've been in a while. Feel free to take any of these energies as mutual energies or roles reversed, but I feel like this is how this person feels about you, Leo, and it would have been on them if they just let this connection go. I mean, of course, it's it's a mutual thing. You're not showing me, so I'm not showing you that I want this to work because I can't I can't mix and mingle with that sort of energy. But I feel like because this matters to this person and they take this interest in you, Leo, they they didn't want to just self sabotage or deny it. And once they start to submerge themselves into your energy, this is something that they feel with you. You've made me the happiest I've been in a while. But also, Lee, I feel like perhaps it all stems down to, I want you to want this for yourself because that's when you put your best foot forward. Once I like you, I'm obsessed. I feel like this person stays around Leo. And if they were trying to embed toxicity or toxic ways into this connection, they may have felt like you were going to chase them or they wanted to play the cat and mouse game. But it's like we could both play that game. We could both be head over heels for each other, but it's not about to be one-sided. So I feel like this is their energy now that they know and they feel safe to love, safe to be themselves. And knowing that if this is something that means something to them, then what is self-sabotaging going to do for this in order to benefit this connection and we could plan on it so perhaps plans moving forward in the future or actions appropriate actions being taken um building that foundation of security between you and this person perhaps they've been more action oriented so once again we'll get into that last pile but as mentioned, your extended reading will be available as well. So your extended reading, Leo, will be available on my Patreon account. In order to view and access the uh, extended reading, you'll either have to have a membership. So the membership allows you total access to all of my extended readings, no matter what sign it is for Leo. That is $8.88 per month. Or if it's just this one soul reading, it will be available as a lower price for a one-time purchase. So those options are available. Once again, it will be linked in the comments and then the description. Let's do one more shuffle for this last pile. And once again, we will receive three messages. Let's do a pink message for Leo. We'll do this one. And we'll do this one. And I do want to pull this one. You can count on me. So yeah, this person definitely making themselves available because they want to be there and they don't want to play themselves out of something that you're like playing themselves out of their own position. It's like, what's the fear about if you feel good about me, I feel good about you. Of course, it could be much deeper than that, Leo, but I feel like number one is like making their heart open to receive and give love. So you can count on me and a shared energy, which is why you've got me messed up, Leo. You're willing to devote yourself to someone romantically. So if anything, 
messes up that like integrity i feel like you don't want it my heart doesn't recognize this so i do feel like this is this person's energy leo maybe they felt like this was too good to be true or this was something that was going to be short-lived or that chasing game but you made it known that you were serious and you weren't about to play with your time we also have i want to be everything you want so this person's energy which is why they they messed up before, but I don't, and things happen. So of course, please only take what resonates, but it's like they're, they're not taking the chances. They know better. And this connection is hard to face. So this could be a reason to why they wanted to run away or they felt like the in and out and inconsistencies uh, would be easier because of the authenticity that you are putting into this connection. That's like, this is serious. And the only way I'm going to be in this connection with Leo is if I'm serious, if I'm real about this. So that's what we have, Leo. Last but not least, we'll pull an extended message here. Once again, we'll see what is yet to come with your extended reading, but let's go ahead and pull let's do this one Leo a lover and a friend I feel like that's what everyone hopes for I found that in you and I don't have many true people in my life I want this to work out because losing either is devastating so this could have this could be how you feel or how this person feels about you Leo so that's why they know what to do Leo or they want to redeem themselves with you as far as signs here, first sign that could be relevant, Sagittarius, any sign could be relevant, but specific sign, Sagittarius, Capricorn here, and Sagittarius came out again. We also have Cancer. All right, so that is all for your reading today, Leo. As always, I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time or within your extended readings. Bye.